Welcome back to Engineering Your Space, I'm Isabel. Today I'm really excited because I finally get to share with you the complete tour of my apartment from start to finish. It was certainly a long time in the making, so let's get started. When I moved into this LA apartment, I was basically starting from scratch because I had left most of my things behind in New York. So it was really nice to have a fresh start and really get creative to see how I could make this space my own. I started with the entry, which is really tiny. I made it feel a bit bigger by adding a mirror and the coat rack that I installed also makes it more functional. Next to the entry is a window. Here I simply replaced the vertical blinds with curtains and added a window cornice. I didn't like looking at the AC unit, so I built a piece of furniture to hide it, but it has a panel that I can take off when I actually need air conditioning. Now moving to the back corner of the living area, here I carved out a space for my home office, and I did that by using bookcases to build a dividing wall that separates the office from the rest of the space. Now moving to the living room. Here I added a rug to define the space, and it also helps break up that wall-to-wall -wall carpet that I really don't like. For the layout, I settled on having the couch and the TV facing each other, and I put up a gallery wall around the TV to help it blend in a bit. I also added color to the back wall, but this time with a panel that I made with a rug. It rests on the floor, so I didn't have to make any holes in the wall. The coffee table was definitely a labor of love from a furniture making class I took. It was a lot of work, but well worth it. I also needed lighting in here, so I designed and made these beautiful wall sconces that incorporate some small shelves that also act as tables. The living room is nice and cozy, and Leah really enjoys taking naps in here in the afternoon. The next room I did was the dining room, and just like the rest of the apartment, it was very plain and boring. For furniture, I customized inexpensive table and chairs from Ikea with a coat of paint and some fabric. I also built an upholstered banquet bench and I framed it with some custom wall panels that I covered in a beautiful grass cloth. It's really a great place to enjoy a meal with friends. Right off the dining room is the balcony, which turns out is basically the main view of the apartment. So I wanted to make it look really warm and inviting and make it an extension of the apartment. And being a renter, I had to be clever as to how I would do this because I couldn't make any holes or make any permanent changes. I used reed fencing to give the balcony a tropical feel, then I made some custom furniture so that I would have a place to lounge and dine. Then I installed privacy panels to make the space feel more like an outdoor room. And the lights were the finishing touch that really made the balcony a great place to entertain in the evening as well. Off the dining room is the kitchen, which definitely needed a bit of color. So the makeover started with this temporary backsplash that I made with fabric that I then protected with tempered glass. For the back wall, I installed paintable and removable wallpaper before painting it. And that way, when I move out, all I have to do is remove the wallpaper and I won't have to worry about repainting the wall the original color. The last couple of touches were under cabinet lighting and creating open shelving above the sink. And that just gave the kitchen a more custom look and really made it more functional as well. The next room to take care of on my list was the bathroom. And here I just made a few cosmetic changes, like replacing the lighting fixtures with ones that I made, and also hiding the ugly heater that I never use with some DIY art. I also used tension rods to organize some of my jewelry here on the back wall, and I built a cabinet to use the space above the toilet for even more storage. Now moving down the hall is a closet that I converted into a mini workshop for all of my tools and supplies. I put in a dresser, some shelves, and an over-the-door organizer to store even more tools. And last but not least is the bedroom. Here I also replaced the vertical blinds with curtains. For furniture, I used inexpensive IKEA tables stacked on top of each other to make nightstands. The headboard is also something I built with plywood and some burlap fabric. I just love the way this bedroom turned out and so does Leah. Well that's it for this grand tour, I hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly had a lot of fun making all of these projects and sharing them with you. And if you're inspired to tackle any of these yourselves, I'll have links in the video description below to all the projects. I'll also include links to 360 videos that I made of my apartment. It's really kind of nice because you get to see what the apartment looks like during the day and also in the evening when all the lights are on. Now you might be wondering what I'm going to be up to next now that my apartment is done. 
and I'm actually working on a lot of exciting projects and videos for you. So the best way to not miss out on anything is to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to know what I'm up to day to day, follow me on Instagram. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.